Okay, um, this is a little video about how is it that you're going to simplify your engine and this is what I was talking about. Okay, and this back here, in the back of your engine, this is your EGR pump. All right, this sucks uh, exhaust fumes through here. Okay, these are the headers for you to see. Okay, so they got this tube that runs all the way back in here. Okay, and this is your EGR and this is connected to a solenoid that activates it and then the fumes of the exhaust go back all the way over here and then run back up into your plenum. So what I did with my old engine while it was still inside, what I did is I cut these tubes, all right, then I put a piece of hose, then I just stuck a bolt in there and with, uh, with two clamps I just held it there, all right. Now, under the plenum you're gonna need some of these okay these are some plates that I cut off from here alright and did a little welding there as you can see there the video quality is not too good but there is a little spot that's been welded okay so then you just put some silicone on it and then you just cap this side of the plenum now these are the water lines that heat up your throttle bodies these tend to flake. Now, I already took these out. This is from my old TT plenum, all right, which was bypassed as well. But for your NA engine, it's a lot easier because you don't have to worry about the cooling of the turbos. So, these are the hard pipes that go into the heater core inside your car. This is what heats up the air, okay, when you when you're kind of cold and you turn on some some air heater action, okay? This is what heats them up. And back here, okay, there are two tubes that you just need to connect. Okay, you can cap them off, but the best thing you could do is just run a hose through them, okay, and with some of these uh, uh, pressure clamps, just stuck them in there because remember, you're going to have, if you're still working with the engine in, this is the view that you're going to have, and then you've got this big, huge thing here in the plenum, all right, so this is going to be kind of complicated to do. If your engine is out, then you can use any kind of regular clamp. Just remember that in the future you might be removing those and doing some other maintenance. Now, this is the other thing I was talking about, the PCV reroute. Okay. Now here, okay, these are from my new engine. So what I did is I drilled a hole here, okay, and then I uh, uh, put a, a tube, an aluminum tube, using some JB weld, all right? And then this tubes connect to this, to the PCVs, all right? These PCV systems, what they do is they free up the pressure, okay, coming from the crank. Now, let's see what it looks like in the car. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the car now. You've got the PCVs back here. They run all the way inside there, and then they end on these tubes right there, okay? So these have been welded with uh, JB Weld. What I did is I cut a slit pattern into them so that the JB Weld could run into the little cracks. All right, and it's held up pretty good so far and I've already got like what, three, 4,000 miles under this setup. And now, um, this is the other thing. Now, this is what I want you to look at. Back here is where you're going to find, back down there is where you're going to find the coolant hoses I'm talking about and as you can see this is pretty pretty cramped alright so it's going to be rather difficult to do it with the engine inside now the reason why to do the reroute of the PCVs is because this engine sucks a lot a lot of oil because the PCVs are hooked up to the exhaust now take a look at this to the exhaust cover this right here this is your exhaust uh, valve cover now this is where it goes this is where the PCVs are hooked up okay so whenever it's that your car turns there's oil inside this okay so what I did for the other one okay if you look at that either way the oil somehow makes it to the top so what I did is I tapped that okay and then I just put two different um, NPT caps and then that's it and the story right there so it was uh, a little easy with the engine out okay and having some spare parts 
was for sure a great plus. Now, um, let's see. On this side over here, what I also did is I removed the air regulator. Okay, I'll show you the air regulator in a minute. And then um, these, these hoses right here, okay, this is one of the hoses that goes to your, um, if I'm not mistaken, this one goes to your cap canister or something like that, which I also removed. But this one ends up here, back here in the FPR. This is your fuel pressure regulator up here. All right, so if you can see, there's a line that connects there, then there's a hard line. So what I did is just rerouted it, okay, back here. Now, this is the balance tube, okay, so this balance tube is just basically balancing out both of the banks. And over here, you got another tricky bit, okay, that I also capped out. This goes to your AVIs, AIVs, sorry, to your AIV solenoids that eventually end up down here. Okay. This is your exhaust, and this is where the AIVs, basically they freshen up the exhaust system, but it can be just taken out, all right? So what I did is I eliminated up there. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna drop the exhaust, I'm gonna cut these open, then I'm gonna weld a little spot on them, and end the story just to get rid of the tubes. As you can see, this is not the stock exhaust anymore. It's been custom made, it's two and a half inch. All right, so that's basically it. That's going to save you a lot of trouble in the future. Okay, especially the coolant lines because they tend to break. Now, this is the other thing I was talking about. Okay, remember, you're looking at it from this side, from this angle over here. Okay, this is your air regulator. What this does is it, it opens up and then there's a direct line from here okay from the intake that goes back into the balance tube and it feeds the car with a little more air when it's cold so I just got rid of all of that because I don't really need it I, re I live in a rather warm place okay so if you got any more questions let me know alright hope this helps peace